So I started today by looking at the digital coupons and there's absolutely nothing here that's going to be of help. It's all for a bunch of pre-made items that I do not use. So I'm going to go ahead next and check out my sale flyer. As I'm using Hannaford, I can shop right from the sale flyer, which makes it nice. This is basically what's available to me for a grocery store by the way if you're new to the channel i do not have a super walmart i would need to go into the city for that which i don't really like to do um london broil steak 2.99 a pound um that is great if you want to grab a couple of those and use them in place of like a pot roast i don't need any i have plenty of roast Chicken skinless, chicken breast or thighs, $1.99 a pound. I definitely want to add that. These lobsters are a great price, but I'm not spending the money on lobster. Let's get a mini watermelon and a cantaloupe. Cauliflower, that's a great price, but I've got tons of cauliflower right now on hand that I froze that needs to be used. The blueberries, two for four. We will definitely grab two of those. That's potato chips, two for six. Let's see, we will get the no salt ones. And we will get the ripples. And we will get the honey barbecue. And uh, two for six, we might as well get one more. Let's see, uh, we'll get sour cream and onion. Whole chicken, definitely want to grab one of those at 99 cents a pound. Oh goodness, so I have my choice between Hannaford brand and Dyson. I guess I'll take Tyson. Uh, by the way, we just have not had these kinds of meat prices in years at this point. I have been getting extra meat every time I shop so that I have some in the freezer to help carry through the winter in case we see those prices go up. This uh, ground beef, $3.99 a pound. It's normally $4.99 a pound. Um, I have been getting ground beef all summer between $1.99 a pound and $2.99 a pound. And when I see those prices, I get 15 pounds at a time. So I'm going to wait. I think that's going to go a little lower, and I still have plenty of hamburger on hand. Uh, let's see. Pork chops, same deal. I got these $1.99 a pound um, a week or two ago, so I'm going to skip that, even though it is a sale. I'm not interested in mangoes, even though they're a great price, because I'm allergic avocados I've got some in the fridge I need to use um, cherries we're gonna grab that that is an exceptional price for my area on the cherries cucumbers two for three we definitely will grab a couple cukes because mine aren't ready yet we got tons of green peppers in the freezer I will skip that I've been buying the green peppers when they're a dollar a pepper and then freezing them Mozzarella or provolone cheese at $7.99 a pound. We always pay a lot for the deli cheese, but we eat a lot of cheese, so I'm going to go ahead and get a pound of that. I'll grab a ice cream. It's going to be really hot today. My family will really enjoy that. Okay, this is what I'm getting this week. Four pounds of Cabot butter. I'm on my last pound now. So I want to make sure that I have plenty in the house in case I forget a week. A 32 ounce Galbani whole milk shredded mozzarella cheese. A dozen large brown eggs. A gallon of hood 1% milk. A gallon of hood whole milk. My husband likes the whole and Jacob and I like the 1%. One pound of deli provolone cheese one banquet chicken pot pie that's for my husband in case i'm busy in the garden or something and he gets hungry he can microwave the chicken pot pie um, one cool whip i'm going to use that for 
a Jello recipe, one Friendly's vanilla ice cream, one 32 ounce package of store brand crinkle cut french fries, a package of stir fry vegetables, two packages of Jimmy Dean sausage egg and cheese croissants. Those are for my husband when he works the night shift. Sometimes he needs breakfast at kind of a weird time. So those will be a fill in. I will cook him breakfast anytime that I'm available. But if I'm not available, he will use those. Red Baron frozen pizza. That's for my son. He eats that every Friday. Um, Hannaford black tea bags. We're still making that homemade strawberry tea. We've cut the sugar back to a third of a cup at this point. And it is delicious. If you haven't checked out that video, I will link it in the description box. Hannaford potato chips. These are my husband's for the week. Hannaford orange marmalade. That is $3.09. Wow, that's getting expensive. This is to make that orange chicken that Nessa made at Nessa's Nook. I'm going to do it a little bit different than she did, but I'm definitely going to use her sauce recipe. I will link her video in the description box. Baby shampoo. I am using baby shampoo now because of my hair thinning, and it seems to be doing great things for my hair. Two packages of wraps for lunch packing. The th uh, four bags of Ott's chips that were on special. Hannaford boneless chicken. That's a 5.25 pound package. A whole chicken. Two packages of blueberries. A cantaloupe. Fresh cherries. A package of lettuce. A green House seedless cucumber, two for three, two four pound bags of red potatoes, and a mini watermelon. Now, I realized I forgot one thing. Let's add it. This is what I added the variety pack of chips, two of those for $11.98. I pack three work lunches a day, and I find that it doesn't matter how many big bags of chips I get, they will not save them for their lunches. So even though that might be cheaper per ounce, it's not cheaper for me. And it's a hassle when I reach for their lunch and it's not there. They know these are for lunches. They will not touch these. When they're out of chips with the big bags, they will not touch these. So that is worth my sanity. Uh, three bags a day times four days that's 12 bags so we will use a full package of these and have be into the next pack just a little bit so I'm only buying two of these once in a while because there's 10 bags per pack so we'll have um, eight bags that roll over into the next week and so that's how that works I don't have that full cost every week all right so over here I'm not doing the Hannaford to go I've just got it in here so you guys can see what it's going to come to my total is going to be $167.33 now, in case you're new to the channel, there's me, my husband, my adult son, okay? And then we have a couple of other people per week that we feed here and there. So that is all we are spending for that many people to feed. Depending on your family size, you're going to spend less, you're going to spend more, but I think this is kind of a reasonable um, grocery trip here. Okay, that is what I'm getting, and I hope you guys have a good day. Please let me know in the comments 
if this was helpful to you and if you enjoy this kind of video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.